Boundary conditions and loads should be applied after the user has applied physical properties and element properties to the model. Let's move to the condition tab where users can attribute conditions like constraints, ground motions, loads, and mass to the whole model or to individual geometries. We can do this using the different commands. The conditions that we will set will appear in the work tree under conditions. Let's click new condition and we'll name it fix. Then we'll click Model, select Constraints, SP, and Fix. We want to choose points, so let's change our selection on the Quick Access toolbar and select the points at the base of the model. Then we'll select a 3D dimension and a UR dimension plus rotation. We can check the boxes of the degrees of freedom we wish to include. Here we'll check them all, then click OK. Now let's go over how to attribute loads. Click New Condition and we'll name it Load. Then we'll click Model, Loads, ELE Load, and ELE Load Beam Thermal 3D. We want to change the dimension to 3D and use WX. Then we can assign values. Let's put minus 1000 WZ, and then we'll select the beams we want to apply to load to. Then we'll click OK to apply the load. You can see the load has appeared on the model. We can also create loads according to a function. After clicking New, let's name it Load Function. Then we'll click Model, Force, Edge Force. Under Mode, we can select Function. We can insert the function where we want the load to be applied, in this case, FZ. Then we'll select the geometry to apply it to, and click OK to apply the load. Zooming in, we can see the load directions applied to the different geometries. Right-clicking the condition, we can delete the last load. We can see how the model reflects the change. OpenSeas only processes nodal forces, so STKO displays these forces on nodes using lumping. Lumping is the transposition of a uniform distributed load to nodal loads. Here's an example of a uniform distributed load over a meshed surface. The next image is of an example of lumping where you can see the stress area.